to a import parts store for the VW. Just got some oil and some other unnecessary stuff that we're gonna do um, to get it tuned up. Now we're heading to his house. We bought some paint and some primer. Um, so we're gonna take apart uh, one of the fenders and then do a test color and see how it looks and then see if we want to paint the whole car that way. I'll uh, put a little photo up to see, uh, show what we're going for. So uh, I'll pull up the camera when we get there. So when we went to Home Depot yesterday, picked up, uh, let's see, two cans of, let's focus this, uh, undercoating, and then the color that we think we want to go with, which is, uh, like a teal what, matte what blue. Say it is? Uh, Oasis blue. Ooh, Oasis. Yeah, so we're going to take off just one fender. We forgot sandpaper, so if we don't have any, I'd assume we're gonna just paint over it and then we can sand over it. sand it later. I know I have sandpaper something. Yeah, for sure. So we're gonna pull off a fender and then paint it blue and then see what uh, we think. So I just pulled the bumper off and we're going to get ready to paint that white because we're doing wheels and bumpers white. Uh, I pulled another fender off that will sand. Noah's sanding the uh, hood or trunk lid. <laughs> and then I roughly mounted the new painted fender. Um, I'm going to of course sand it back down again. We're just testing for um, if we like the paint. I scuffed it up pretty bad with that uh, belt sander. So uh, I'll do some body fill and then probably take the front fenders off, front bumper, and then paint the, wait to paint the other fenders because I'll body fill those and then we'll probably paint the uh, bumpers tonight. We are about to wrap it up for the night. It's getting dark and we've got school tomorrow, but we put on the blue fender and then I painted the rear bumper. It's all clean, it's got like four coats on it. Uh, it's barely bolted in and then ran out of paint finishing the front bumper. So we'll have to finish that hopefully before Wednesday so I can get some more footage. But uh, yeah, that's how she sits right now. Uh, we got the rear hatch off uh, and sanded down so uh, we can paint that and then I got another fender off and then we'll pull off the neck, the upper fenders f next and then paint those. So that's it for today boys, uh, unless there's extra clips after this, like, uh, comment, subscribe, leave some hate, um, send this to your grandmother and uh, call her a greasy bastard. Thanks boys.
All right, we're back um, working on the beetle again. Noah's not here. He's at work right now. He'll probably be here in an hour or two. But got a buyer for the bike. Um, it will not start for some reason. It'll start on brake clean, but that's about it. Hopefully they're still interested. I got to call them and tell them, but we already sorted out a deal. I've met him already. He wants to buy it, but we'll see. Um, I am working on painting the wheels right now, or grinding them down for paint. And uh, so I'll record that with the uh, new GoPro. And uh, yeah, let's switch to that footage. All right, boys. <laughs> so, figured out what the problem was on the bike. It ran so low on gas that when it was on the regular fuel feed, it wouldn't start because, of course, it couldn't suck gas because it was so low. So, I mouth siphoned and put it on reserve, and it was fine. So, I just got up to, like, the fifth gear, went 50 miles an hour, She's mint. The guy is in. He's coming tomorrow, I think. Um, but Jesus Christ almighty, man. <laughs> Here, let's go. All right, new GoPro. Hopefully the audio works, but ready? No chokes, just... That was amazing. All right, ready? One more time. Nothing, chokes are off. Hat is off, ready?